Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission free. Learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving viewers of Death Battle, like you, a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at battle.robinhood.com. Battle.robinhood.com. Many with great power choose to take up the responsibility of being a hero, but for others, it is thrust upon them when they least expect it. Like Captain Marvel, the high-flying Avenger. And Shazam, the literal boy turned hero of the Justice League. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Before she would take up her superhero mantle, Carol was an army brat raised by Joe and Marie Danvers. Inspired by her U.S. Navy dad, Carol joined the Air Force at 18 with the hopes of one day becoming an astronaut. Which sounds really cool, except, you know, comic book outer space is way more dangerous than real outer space, which is already, you know, pretty friggin' dangerous. Arnold, don't take off your... No! You're not far off. After becoming head of security at NASA, Carol was caught up in an alien struggle, which resulted in an explosion of a device called the Psych Magnetron. The uh, what's it now? The Psych Magnetron was designed to bestow superhuman powers to the alien species known as the Kree. Caught close to the explosion, Carol seemed to be unaffected. But plot twist, her mom was an alien Kree all along. And so Carol's half Kree, half human genetics were fused and awakened forging her into a superheroine the likes of which the world had never seen. Too bad she didn't even know about it for months. Yeah, she'd black out sometimes and then wake up to hear of a new blonde superhero lady saving the day. It's like keeping your own secret identity a secret from yourself. Eventually, she did figure it out and accepted her role as Miss Marvel. Oh yeah, she's had a bunch of names like that, Warbird and Captain Whizbang. Not, not kidding about that one. Until a certain Kree superhero and close friend passed on. Upholding the legacy of her mentor, she took up his heroic name. And so Carol became known as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel possesses incredible superhuman strength, speed, stamina, and durability. She resists fatal poisons, has a notable healing factor, and doesn't even need to eat or sleep for long periods of time. She's got a ton of experience fighting with the Avengers, X-Men, and the spacefaring Starjammers. Oh, and she can friggin' fly! And to top it off, she possesses incredible energy manipulation powers. She can fire photon blasts from her body, alter matter at a molecular level, and absorb enormous amounts of energy, which can augment her own power. And when she absorbs enough energy, she busts out the big guns by transforming into her ultimate form and top-tier fire-type Pokémon, Binary! Thanks to some weird experiments done to her by the creepy crawly brood aliens. First she gets her human and Kree bits smashed together, and then she gets her genes brooded to become a sun person? As Binary, she is extraordinarily powerful on a cosmic scale. Directly connected to the power of a white hole, Binary can control all forms of energy, fly through space, move at the speed of light, and even control gravity. Oh, she controls gravity. Big deal. Even I can do that. Watch this. Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no. How sad. I'm a monster. Here, I'll pour one out for you, buddy. Oh, wait. Let's move on. Ah! While she has lost her binary powers before, she still maintains an instilled connection to white holes nearby and can summon the form when necessary. Similar to another long dormant power of hers, her hyper-awareness. Her deja vu power! She can automatically predict her opponent's moves, sort of like Spider-Man's really OP spider sense. With her slew of abilities, Marvel is at force to be reckoned with. It wasn't easy for her though, and she soon found herself wandering the universe in search of purpose. But nobody got away with messing with her for long. She's tough enough to survive a nuclear blast, a shot from a disintegrator beam which could destroy the android vision in one shot, and even a direct hit from a tachyon laser. 
Tachyons are a theoretical class of particles that travel faster than the speed of light and are capable of slicing through nearly anything. Like an entire Kree starship? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the end of one of those. Not only was Marvel able to take a hit from one of these, she could dodge subsequent shots as well. But let's take it up a notch. As binary, she survived attacks from both the Phoenix Force and the Aleph's, both of which are known for blowing up entire planets. Hell, she can wipe out planets on her own if she really wants to, cause she totally already has. Even without her binary powers, Marvel could toss around and obliterate the remnants of this enormous asteroid. Damn, that's impressive. Hey Wiz, how come you've never mentioned how strong I am? I bet I could punch apart an asteroid. Well, I don't know, Boomstick. I'd have to calibrate a new strength meter to accommodate your- Slugbug! Oh! Get up, that's two for squealing. So, she's super powerful, but she does reach some limits if she overuses her powers. You know, after blowing up a couple planets or whatever. That and absorbing magical energy can be a dangerous gamble, though it doesn't stop her from taking on mystic monstrosities whenever she needs to. Cause Captain Marvel is one superhero who will never stop fighting, no matter what. Oh good, looks like I didn't miss all the fun. Another combatant. Thanks, right back at ya. <laughs> After moving between foster families for most of his life, 15-year-old Billy Batson didn't know the meaning of home. But one day, after being chased by bullies into a subway car, Billy was magicked away to the Rock of Eternity, where he was granted powers by a mysterious wizard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's it? No freaky alien genes? No parents getting gunned down in an alley? He just hopped on a train and shot off to meet some old dude? Where's the tragedy? Where's the drama? Boomstick, he's an orphan. Uh, oh, right. Oh, suck it up. Anyway, the Rock of Eternity is no ordinary chunk of dirt floating across the cosmos. It was the home of a wizardly hero who was in need of an heir. And to claim his powers, all Billy needed to do was speak aloud a single magic word. Shazam! Shazam! What kind of magic word is Shazam? Even Abracadabra would be better than that. Boomstick, you have no room to talk. Your password is password, and you don't even spell it right. Exactly, Wiz. Genius. I... Oh, wait. Wait a minute, how, how do you know my password? Let's move on. Anyway, whenever Billy shouts his magic word with heroic intent, he summons a bolt of lightning that ages him up to become Captain Marvel! Until they change that shit because of Marvel Comics. Long story short, Captain Marvel was originally conceived not by DC or Marvel, but by Fawcett Comics as a competitor for Superman. Yeah, DC didn't like that, so they killed off the Captain in the courtroom and took the character for themselves. Then Marvel Comics showed up 20 years later and had a similar legal battle with MF Enterprises. Mother Enterprises? Damn, they beat me to it. Well, good news, because apparently they forgot how copyright works and tried to make their own Captain Marvel. There's had the power to pop his head off, and that's about it. He's stupid. Let's move on. With that, Captain Marvel had two owners. Marvel owned the name, but DC owned the character. And so began a cold legal war, with both companies silently daring the other to cross the line. Till DC decided, ah, screw it, let's call him Shazam. As Shazam, Billy gains a wide variety of impressive powers, including the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the lightning of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. And the body of legal drinking age! Each of these ancient beings granted their own capabilities to Shazam. The wisdom of Solomon gave him a perfect memory and the ability to magically gain any knowledge he needs to know. So, it's like a smartphone with internet access. I... sure. The strength of Hercules makes him super strong obviously, and with the lightning of Zeus, he got awesome electric powers. Zeus himself once channeled the power to defeat the Shattered God, a being only previously slain by the Big Bang. I slayed your mom with the Big Bang. Shazam also gained accelerated healing, a shortcut to the Rock of Eternity, and the ability to share his powers with anyone he considers family, like his adoptive sister. I suppose he eventually found himself a home after all, huh? Aw, oh, that's touching. 
But back to cool superpowers! With the courage of Achilles, he became tough enough to survive in space and even take on Superman himself! And with the speed of Mercury, he can fly as well as move faster than light. Hey, wait a minute! Solomon, Hercules, Atlas? The first letters come together to spell Shazam! Yep. Haha, <laughs> and you say I don't pay attention to stuff. Despite Billy's often sour attitude thanks to, well, the homelessness, he always dreamed of rising up and becoming a hero. As Shazam, he wound up being so good at hero work, he joined the Justice League. Though he did keep the truth of his powers a secret, as Superman would probably think twice about sending a 15-year-old into an active combat zone. Eh, you gotta learn sometime, right? Plus, he's super powerful, able to stand up against all sorts of aliens, monsters, and gods. He's fast enough to transform and dodge a bullet all in one move, and even outran the Flash, racing around the world at speeds even Superman doubted he could match. That's right, Shazam is faster than frickin' Superman! Superman can perceive time and react down to the femtosecond. For Flash and Shazam to exceed this in one run around the Earth, they must be moving more than 133 trillion times faster than light. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how about the time he punched so hard he started a black hole out of nowhere? He's tough enough to shrug off Superman's punches, survive planet-bursting shots from the Void Hound, and even a bomb that turned his whole body inside out! Oh, what the f That's the Tesseract Bomb, and Shazam's magic was powerful enough to pull himself back together without much issue. So, technically not a straight durability feat, but still, a device that turns things inside out? Delightful! It's so fascinating, I had to replicate it for myself. The hell is that? Uh, if my calculations are correct, this should mimic the space-bending reversal effects of the Tesseract Bomb, turning any object inside Yo, a- Hey! Wait, wait, I haven't tested- Oh yeah, that makes sense. However, even with all Shazam's might, he is still 15-year-old Billy Batson. His time and experience hardly compares to other members of the Justice League, and his headstrong immaturity can't help but slip out every now and then. Hey, Blackheart the Death Eater, or whatever your World of Warcraft name is, suck on this! Wiz, it's gotta be super hard going back and forth in that hormone hurricane. Yet distractions and adversaries aren't enough to stop this Cape Crusader. He may be the ultimate power fantasy incarnate, but he's also exactly what he'd hoped he'd be. A hero. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, I'm in the mood for a marvelous meal. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the US. Choose your meals each week, get the ingredients delivered to your doorstep, and whip up a meal using the easy to follow directions provided. I've been trying out their Best of the US series, which means I've had the pleasure of enjoying several recipes inspired by different regions of the country. It's actually been pretty inspiring, and they're delightful meals to boot. This is, in my opinion, the best aspect of Blue Apron. You get all the benefits of discovering new meals and learning how to make them, but without any confusion or last minute crises. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. To start making delicious, brag-worthy meals at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Stop, stop, stop! Stop right there! Huh? You really think you can get away with something so petty? Oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, this isn't a. Uh, right. See ya! Don't walk away from me, Flyboy! Miss, you're in for a surprise! When in doubt, punch it out! How about this surprise? Okay, time.
time to go. a firework day in the night. This battle certainly pushed both Marvel and Shazam to their limits. But while Carol's experiences with the Phoenix Force and Aleph's proved she could hold up to Shazam's strength of Atlas, she unfortunately fell a bit short in most other categories. Even her energy absorption powers could only take so much magic before reaching a limit. But hey, Carol got one over him with her hyper-awareness super senses, right? Not really. While Binary could move past light speed, we've already established that Shazam can move much faster. Over 133 quadrillion times more, in fact. And let's be honest, having wise old Solomon telling you any information you need at any point is pretty overpowered. Speaking of which, Carol had enough power to obliterate a planet, but Shazam could punch a black hole into existence. Who even does that? Going off this building's height and the horizon, we determined the size of Shazam and the black hole. He was giant size at the time. With the estimated Schwarzschild radius of the black hole being 526 feet, its mass must be about 238 octillion pounds. The energy to create a singularity of that size would have to be 97 pho. Uh, whiz, what does pho mean? Uh, ask it for a friend. It's simple. One unit of pho is approximately equal to the energy output of a supernova. Holy hell! Are you serious? Who decided this guy can punch with the power of 97 supernovas? That can't be right. Well, we can support this by comparing Shazam to Zeus, one of the six beings he draws power from. At one point, Zeus channeled enough energy to defeat the Shattered God, who had only previously been defeated by the original Big Bang. Okay, but Zeus is drawing power from a bunch of other gods. We can see at least 34 here, and there's probably more. Even if there were a thousand gods involved, this still means Zeus is responsible for one one-thousandth of something comparable to the Big Bang, a universal scale event. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I don't think Binary had anything like that up her sleeve. Carol was certainly no pushover, but Shazam had the speed, strength, and versatility to take this battle in the long run. That was one marvelous fight. The winner is Shazam. Hey, don't go away. We're about to announce the next death battle, but if you want the battle music from this one for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link below. Or check out one of those other videos right over there.